What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Illustrator CC. I found this pretty cool feature where you can export CSS from Illustrator into any HTML editor that you want to use. Now this is also going to be a tutorial where I explain some CSS rules to you and maybe you'll become a little bit more familiar with CSS because I know some people are overwhelmed by it. So let's get started, I'm in Illustrator over here, I'm going to go to Window and the first thing that I want to open up is the CSS Properties panel. This is something new to Illustrator. We're going to create a document. I'm just going to create a random size document. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to select OK. First, I'm going to create a rectangle. So you can think if you were designing a banner. And we're also going to give that rectangle a color. Again, this is all random. And I'm going to select this blue color. Next, I'm going to select some type. So I have my layers panel here. You're familiar with that. We can select a new layer. I'll lock the background layer. And I'll just create a text layer and call this Adobe Easy. So far, this is very similar to what you would normally do in Illustrator. And we're going to select a different color. Let me select white. Now, if we left click over here onto the panel and we select one of the layers, which would be either the background or the text, we're going to see the CSS over here. It says Myriad Pro. This is the font family, font size 72 pixels. Color, all those Fs, that stands for white. And then you also have the color in RGB. Now if I select the background, it says there's no CSS code was generated because the name of the layer is nothing. It's just a layer. So what I'm going to do is name this path and we can call this Adobe Easy. Now you'll see that there's a CSS rule applied to it. And again, this is all CSS. The background color, this is the color that's for blue. It also shows it in RGBA, it says. Now this will allow you to understand CSS a little bit better because Illustrator is automatically doing this for you and you can see how it applies to what you're creating. Now let's incorporate this into our HTML document. And I noticed there was a tutorial on the Adobe website, but they didn't really mention how to actually do this in a project where someone might not be familiar with like a div. Now a div allows you to hold items and you know assets in a certain area of your project and I'll explain right here. So in Dreamweaver it makes it really easy. On the right hand side we can just go to insert and select div. So I'm going to call the class Adobe Easy and I'm going to select for this ID for this one individual div Adobe Easy 2 and select OK. Next what I'm going to do is create a CSS rule for this and it's very easy to do in Dreamweaver. We can come right over here to the CSS designer, select this plus symbol and we can select define and page. Now we can come over here to the editor, hit enter, and I'm going to paste the CSS. Now that you see the background color is blue, just like we exported from Illustrator, I can come over here to Illustrator. Now I can select my text, copy it, come over here to Dreamweaver, and over here we can just apply another rule. Select enter, and it shows normal character style, but what we can do is we can just change this again and select Adobe Easy. You can do this one or two ways. You can have it like this and you can have it repeating if you want to or come back to Illustrator and rather selecting over here this you know which applies to the normal character style which we changed to Adobe Easy I could just select this Control C come back to Dreamweaver and I can include it right within this rule here. You can apply it both ways obviously so it worked but when you're coding a lot it's very simple to just include it within the same rule. Now I can delete this, and now I can call this Adobe Easy. Now the one thing I did notice about this feature, it doesn't apply to the position of the text. So what I would tell you is to study a little bit about CSS. I'll be including this in more tutorials. But over here we can press enter, type in text, and I'm going to center it. Now another cool thing about this is that you can also import your graphics in an HTML editor as SVG. And that's a scalable graphic. It's great for responsive design and it also compresses really fast. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to select the text, then we're going to select type, and then select create outlines. That way it's a graphic. Now I'm going to select everything, control C, open up Dreamweaver, and I'm going to create myself a div over here. We'll do what we did before, Adobe Easy 2, doesn't really matter for this. Then we're going to select control V to paste it. 
Now this is what the SVG coding looks like. It's a lot of coding here, but what it'll do is actually export your design, as you see, into coding, which I think a lot of people will appreciate, especially if you're not familiar with CSS. So the Illustrator export is not gonna do everything for you, but it will give you a good start to understanding CSS and actually allow you to use it in your projects. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.